on that narrower line, but just depends on how this weight is, how far it'll hold up. Yeah, yeah. It looks good. That should be enough for a second, will it? Or is it just all the one? I might have a measure here, but I think it's just going to be just the, the one. one. Just the one to Shannon McElroy. So the draws first blood in this men's singles semi final here against Tony Chung of Hong Kong. Shannon McElroy won nothing in the race to 21. Of course, if you're not too familiar with singles play at championships, it's not about how many ends, it's about who's first to 21. And Shannon McElroy is the best in the world at it. The world champion trying to add a third Asia Pacific Championship gold medalist. Of course, he won the pairs with Gary Lawson just last week. He won the fours in 2015. So trying to win the singles for the first time at this level. More than 350 games for his country. Still just 32 years of age. So played on the backhand with his first bowl played down towards the surface paradise end and is short. Now, of course, the change of hands. We see the backhand now from the Hong Kong player. And he's going to get past the McElroy bowl. No, in fact, he runs into the Shannon McElroy bowl, which is around about a metre short, so plenty of room. And shorter end here elected by Shannon McElroy as well. So the jack not far from its absolute limit for a short end probably about a metre and a half from there, and McElroy was short with his first effort, as was Shung, and now McElroy on the money, a front toucher. Just wanders past the jack by a couple of feet, but good bowl, had, certainly had a good line to the jack, good green, as we see now. And he's Shung on his backhand now, trying to get past his own short bowl. Looks as though it's going to run into it and pushes it in towards the head. That's still one to New Zealand. I presume we're red. And it is indeed. Yeah, New Zealand is the red. So Shannon McElroy is holding the shot as indicated by the, the market with the lollipop. McElroy with his third. Too much weight, but not a bad position to be in beyond the jack. So this breaks in behind the head. And again, persevering with the backhand down towards the surface paradise end. And I just wonder how far that's going to draw back with that weight. It looks to be on a good line. Got a feather off his own short bowl. A bit unfortunate there, but that's always going to be the issue coming that side, isn't it? Well, certainly Those two is, short yeah. bowls were always there. And was, yeah, was, yeah, was, yeah, was, that, that short bowl was in the line to the draw. So... Shannon McElroy now quickly into his work, on the backhand. He certainly, he's out on that nice wider line, which will get that natural pull towards the jack. It's just bowl is going to, it's exactly what it's going to do, sits alongside it. So that's definitely 2-2, two, two, Shannon McElroy. Yeah, great final bowl of McElroy in this second end of this men's singles semi-final. Proud to bring it to you on stuff.co.nz. Myself, Brenton Villasaroy. And Kevin Hicklin providing you with the call. Our team of Ben and Robbie. Did a fantastic job. You know, putting all the, the cameras together, especially when we had just joining us quite some rain event in between our quarterfinals and semi finals. But everything's now dried off and it's actually quite Barmy now, Kevin. It's, it's, it's pleasant now, Brendan, isn't it? And, and I saw those photos from earlier on, only around about an hour ago, and there certainly there was deep water on the green. And of course, this is now change of hand, uh, the Hong Kong player, and it's on a good line. Just depends how this weight's going to be. Definitely two down. How far is it going to run by? Gets the jack, does it? Sits him behind it. Very good ball. First time down on that side of the rink. Has he drawn the shot? We'll wait to see what the markers said, what the players agree. No, it's still Shannon McElroy. So must have been that last bowl of McElroy's which drew the shot. So another to McElroy. He leads Tony Chung after two ends in the race of 21, 2 nothing. It's a good start by the Kiwi. Of course, we mentioned it a couple of times already. He did trail, same opponent, 15-3 in his section play game. But one twenty one to sixteen. Quite some incredible comeback. And we'll also 
Well, we focus on the men's singles semi-final here. We've got great Canadian Ryan Bester up against Australia's Ray Pearce alongside this match. We'll also keep you up to date with the women's pairs as well. We obviously live-streamed their quarter-final against Hong Kong earlier today. Kirsten Edwards and Joe Edwards coming out on top of that one. And they're now in action against Australia. Likewise, the men's four, they're in action against Canada. In their semi-final, I can tell you after the first end, they lead 2-0. Good opening bowl here by Shannon McElroy, leading 2-0 uh, over Tony Ching Chong. Just gone past as the bowl. McElroy, very, very good opening bowl. Down in centimetres, the jack down on his forehand and putting the pressure on very early with his first bowl. This bowl, though, is going to fall slightly under the line and a little bit short of weight. Definitely holding one, leading 2-0 in the race 221. And that breeze seems to have sort of disappeared there. Brendan looks to be pretty placid out there. Yeah, fingers crossed it does stay away as well. We don't get a few of those other threatening clouds potentially bringing some more moisture as just going past the head there is Tony Chung so McElroy now with his third bowl trying to add another one around the head this time going the forehand side and chasing after this one it looks in a good area it's going to stop in front of that Tony Chung bowl so it will be two to New Zealand holding two with Very Tony Chung bowl. still to bowl a couple as he's bowling from the surface paradise end towards our commentary position here at the Broad Beach Bowls Club on the Gold Coast to Australia. Playing down on his backhand, trying to get to the jack or sit on the bowl. And he sit on the, the bowl with it, rolled it far enough for shot. We'll see that lollipop lady let us know what the story is. She's in a great position for us as well. Let us know exactly what the situation is. We'll see if yeah, she can have a little look at it for us. Find out what she indicates. I saw McElroy, so I saw the red lollipop goes up. So well, that was actually a good result, Brendan, because a, a touch on the jack down through that port there uh, was all in favour of the Hong Kong China. So now the bowls sort of dropped in front of the head and, and uh, Shannon holding it a one. So we might actually see Shannon McElroy go back to his original hand. Yeah, so you say, Kevin, a good result for McElroy, and maybe not so for Tony Chung, as it's blocked up the path to potentially get a few out of this end. But running for a bit of cover is McElroy. He's going to, I think, go on behind here. In fact, sorry, the, the weight is better than I thought it was. Pretty much right in line with the shot bowl. Might still only be one to, to McElroy, though. And now it's Tony Chung to see if he can try and grab the shot and get on the board in this race of 21. The mark is going to have another look and see what the situation is. Still indicating one Just to McElroy. And the difficulty to get to the jack now is it's the, well, that front bowl does make it challenging. And you're going to have to stay on that hand to try and get the result which is on backhand. It's on its way. Certainly playing with Wait to get it's going to be under the line. I think they'd need to get a feather off the pole. Depends how thick it gets. No, it doesn't. And was running with weight to try and turn the bowl over onto the jack, but not to be. And that'll be another one to the New Zealand. One more to Shannon McElroy, who jumps out to a 3 0 lead. Yeah, after just three ends. So picked up singles on the first three ends of this race to 21. Of course, the winner to play. Either Ryan Bester of Canada or Ray Pierce of Australia. That's on the green rink alongside these two. You can see the feet of Ray Pierce just to the top of the screen. And Ryan Bester walking backwards just near the, the score board there. As we have in our top left-hand corner. Now McElroy gets underway in this next stand. Still in control of the jack and the mat. Playing to that backhand side. So we'll go past, just under the line slightly on that backhand side. And of course we will keep you up to date as well 
of the Joe Edwards Kirsten Edwards game and the semi final of the women's peers, where they're up against the Australian combination of Lindsay Clark and Kelsey Cottrell uh, playing up on the top green here. And yeah, you might have a better chance of seeing that me, than me, Kevin. Unfortunately, there's a big, big pole in the way for me. So you, every now and then, you might be able to get a chance to catch the score of that one. Get an idea what that score is in the women's peers. One all is the call. So it played just underway though, only played two ends of 18 and of course the men's fours, they play at 15 ends and the singles to 21 and Shannon McElroy comes back right down towards the centre line and that will certainly be the shot. Tony Chong will now play on his backhand, trying to sit on the Shannon McElroy bowl. Second ball is definitely shot. It's on a good line, this ball from Tony Chong as it breaks down towards the jack now. Is he going to get the jack? Yes, he is. Gets the jack, moves it around the corner. And that will definitely beat one to the as signaled by the marker. And Shannon McElroy following that ball down on that line. Playing for a spot in the final, which will be played here, of course, tomorrow afternoon. This is on a good line, this McElroy. Look at this. He gets the Great jack. response from McElroy, isn't it, Kevin? That was one of the first good bowls we've seen from Tony Chung as far as drawing the jack, trailing it, and then that response straight away from McElroy. Whatever you can do, I can do better. Yeah, just got that nice touch on the jack. And so here's now Tony Chung. Playing down on that narrow line again, trying to get to the jack. Got to get past this front bowl of his own. And he doesn't. He feathers off it there. So we may now see Shannon McElroy may well change his hand. It's everything to gain. And he is. He's chained, playing down on his backhand side. He gets a draw on top of the bowl. Get a touch on the jack. And he beat to his advantage. It breaks down now. Just wondering how... That's under the line, that is. Needs to sit on this bowl of... It doesn't the bowl of Tony Chung just goes past, but it's fine. It's in behind the head, so if there is movement of the jack... If Tony Chung wants to have a little look at the head, see what the situation is, so he can visualise this as well. It's a good afternoon to everyone watching on stuff.co.nz. Myself, Brenton Vanissaroy, alongside Kevin Hickler. Now, absolute pleasure to bring you... This coverage from the Asia Pacific Championships on the Gold Coast of Australia from the Broad Beach Bowls Club had absolutely everything weather wise today. We had thunderstorms, the winds come in, and now bathed in sunshine we are. And it's beautiful conditions, and hopefully, it will mean that the speed of the greens increase as well. And believe it or not, just over an hour ago, this green in front of you was flooded certainly was, and the Greens this morning, I mean, play got underway, was running at around about 14 seconds, 14 and a half seconds, uh, and it's hoped this afternoon, with the, the sun now out on the green, that we may see it speed up a bit now here, looking for the jack, is Tony Chong, is he just going to get there and pass it by a mere... Unlucky Tony Chong, it wasn't yeah. a bad bowl, it was the right idea to try and trail the jack, and pick up the shot, but it's not to be. It's another one to Shannon McElroy. So he now leads 4 nothing over Tony Chung of Hong Kong. He picked up singles on the first four ends, and he's looked for the most part, Kevin, in control of this men's singles semi final, largely untroubled. And for those who have watched a bit of our coverage, you will also notice how quick the men's singles is. Uh, the player is very quick to. Size up what the head is and play their bowls very quickly. And you can see how in singles, um, it's certainly a race to 21 because it, it, it goes quick quick fire. It certainly is. And, of course, as you said rightly before, Brendan, you, you never run out of ends, you just run out of numbers. And that's the that's the big thing. And I, look, Shannon McElroy started the game comfortable. Now, watch this bowl now break towards the head, just going to go past, but on a good line. And we've seen... The Hong Kong players had to sort of change his game around the way. He had to change his weight, had to change his line. And uh, that, that makes makes it that much more difficult. I see a 2 2. New Zealand, New so Zealand. And it's in the men's four, as Kevin's mentioning here. So they're off to a good start against Canada. I think that's 4 0 after two of 15 ends in the men's four semi final. Australia and Malaysia meeting on the rink alongside them. Malaysia actually off to a 3 0 advantage over. 
the Australian men's fours. So we saw Tony Chung play his first bowl, which is fractionally shorter than Jack, but on the line, which meant McElroy changed his hand. We watched this bowl break towards the head. This McElroy bowl, all but a front toucher, only but a few centimetres away. And you can see straight away, Brendan here, with that short bowl, it puts the pressure on the Hong Kong player, right, because you, you've you got to find a different line now, and it's, it, it becomes very, very challenging. Yeah, well, Shannon McElroy actually gave an opening to Tony Chung, but Tony Chung unable to take advantage of it. Shannon McElroy's first bowl, you can see at the bottom of the screen here, uh, wayward by his standards. Tony Chung unable to draw a, a good shot, that his first bowl, and then Shannon McElroy. You don't give him a, an opportunity because he'll t make the most of it. And his second bowl right on the money. A bit disappointed with his third that came up short, just touching that Tony Chung bowl there, his first effort now Chung, Hong Kong engineer. Now I'm very surprised here, now it changed his hand, and this is the indecision being in that we were just talking about that how when you get that front bowl, how it can you get that bowl that Shannon McElroy has played now with the two short bowls that other hand is completely just about closed off for the Hong Kong player McElroy in control of the head you know, in front 4-0 holding the shot, got the bat bowl and certainly he's got everything you know, that's what makes singles like a game of chess in some regard and that's where McElroy is so good that, that, that he, he plays it accordingly Yeah, and he knows that it's all about getting to 21 first, it's not about who's first to 15, 16 it's all about that, that last shot to bring up 21 and it sometimes can be a long game and he plays and he as he showcased that through this Asia Pacific Championships, where against the same opponent he trailed 13 1, 15 3, but still won 21 16. And now McElroy again on the money. Hello, down on that backhand side and sat right in front of the jack, got the touch on it. And now there's only the one shot left for uh, Tony Jung, and that's to try and play down to reach the bowls. He's two down, no bowls really over the head. And uh, the most he can get is a shot. That's right. And it's going to be a, a good one. Going to need a good one to take the shot here. He's got an opening. He's going to have to play on that backhand side. So that's the right of the screen as you look at it. And hasn't got In fact, he's a lefty, isn't he? So this is, his, this is his forehand side. So it's on its way. Playing down towards the surface end. He's got good weight to get to the jack. Yep, very, very good weight. Which way is it Great going to go? Great goal, Tony Zhang. He has picked up the shot there, I believe, and we can see if we can get where that is. Date and play. So Tony Chung will pick up one. We'll get the confirmation from the lollipop as we see a replay of that Tony Chung weighted bowl. It was very fine window for him to go through. In fact, it's two to that Tony Chung, says the marker. So two to Tony Chung on that end. So he's on the board. And it's now 4-2. Shannon McElroy leading Tony Chung of Hong Kong. And this men's singles semi-final here on stuff.co.nz. The Asia Pacific Championships coming to you from the Broadbeach Bowls Club on the Gold Coast of Australia. You can see there Canada's Ryan Bester in action against Ray Pierce of Australia. As well, a big crowd watching that one. I can let you know that Ryan Bester's off to a good start. He's leading 7-2 in that race to 21 in the men's singles semi-final. So you have Kevin Getter. An update for us from the women's peers semi final as well. And New Zealand are leading in the women's peers by three to three to one. Three three to one. That's uh, Joe Edwards and Kirsten Edwards, the Edwards uh, Cornella up over uh, playing the Australian combination of Kelsey Cottrell and Lindsay Clark over the eighteen ends in the semi final of the women's peers. Thank you, Kevin. Yeah, so we've got three New Zealand contingents. In semi-final action, uh, odd one out, uh, women's triples, unfortunately, were beaten in their quarter-final this morning by Canada, 21-14. So they've been eliminated, but the other three New Zealand combinations in action, and at the moment, all leading their semi-finals, although still very early days. It was the New Zealand men's four, leading Canada 4 nothing as they're now playing that third end. Watch now, Shannon McElroy bowl break down towards the head, down towards the jack, gets the jack clean around the corner, sits along 
side it and of course the Tony Chong first bowl was in fact short so he will now play down on his back end McElroy very very good opening bowl leading 4-2 in the race to 21 in this semi-final and looks very composed as the New Zealand player the world champion of course and yeah well champion. I suppose that's the thing about uh, uh, Shannon McElroy Kevin is he looks the same no matter what if he's if he's 20 to 1 down or if he's 20 to 1 up, he looks exactly the same. Uh, unflappable character, that's for sure. Uh, he prides himself on, on his mental strength. And it's something you definitely need. You need that that strong wills in a singles game. Another superb bowl. Just draws down inside the line. Sits very close to the jack. Holding two shots. On the backhand now. To Hong Kong China. Definitely two down, playing with reaching weight. That started under the line early. Is it going to stay all the way under the line? Yes, it is. Great things about these greens, uh, Brenton, isn't it? With the markers of lines on the, in the middle, you can pretty quickly see whether uh, a bowl is sort of in the vicinity or not. Yeah, absolutely. It's a pleasure to be able to call a game of bowls on surfaces like this. Let's see. Home of the Australian Open as well. Another great bowl from Shannon McElroy. Just knocking one of his two onto the jack. And still holding two, says the market. Two in a measure, perhaps. So, so all the work to do, Tony Chung. Of course, Tony Chung's got to try and get... You know, again, he's going to have to play... Well, he played a good bowl that last one, but coming the other way. And obviously, on the back end now, reaching down to the McElroy bowls to try and either sit on them or get a touch on the jack. I don't think there's any other option of shot. I can't see he may play the other hand, but it certainly looks to be the best, well, the best percentage shot, really. And it looks as though he is going to play down on his back end, trying to reach down to the Shannon McElroy bowls, sitting right alongside the jack. It's on its way, and again, this is under the, narrow. It's under the line. Uh, unfortunate bowl from Tony Chung, not what he wanted, but he didn't give it enough green. Obviously, the jack has been moved off the, the centre line to the right, as you see it on screen, and he needed to be a bit more narrow than he would if he was playing on that centre line, but he went far too narrow, unfortunately. One of the dangers, Brendan, that happened then, it can, it can easily happen playing the run shots, and this is a lesson for bowlers who are watching. You notice his, his hand tipped in when he started to... The minute you tip that hand in when you're playing the run shot, the bowl's just going to... Yeah, you've got to have that hand flat so that you're playing, and ideally you're playing not to the jack, you're playing to where the counting bowls are. Oh, the way so looks good, some good movement. track by oh, Shannon McElroy. Yeah, again, not quite the way, unfortunately. Slowed up. But that is... Uh, annoying position, and uh, Tony Chung says certainly two down. Yeah. They might have a measure for a third, or McElroy might just have a little look to see if it is just the two. It is the two for yeah. Shannon McElroy, so he's happy with the two. No need for the measure for a third. So McElroy now up by four, uh, reinstating that four shot advantage. Six two. He leads Tony Chung of Hong Kong in the race to 21. They've got a Bit of a measure, I think, going on in the men's fours semi-final against Canada. New Zealand leading 4-0 after two ends. Umpire's been called. It's one of those cases, Brendan, where one of the first things you learn in, in, in bowls, and it's like golf, uh, you don't try and steer the bowl to get to its destination. You deliver the bowl to make the bowl work at the finish. And the minute you move that hand inwards, like you do with playing golf, the, 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 obviously the ball or the bowl or ball or golf ball is just going to go in the opposite direction. So yeah. McElroy right on that centre line, but the weight is probably a couple of yards, if not three or four, too big. As now after three ends of the men's fours final have been completed, and I think New Zealand's got the mat. I see Mike Kernan delivering the jack. But I think they haven't scored it to either, so it must have been a dead end. Dead end. Yeah. Well, four all, I think, in the women's pairs. That what I was heard there, Kevin. Yes, four all after four ends in the women's pairs. That's Kirsten Edwards and Joe Edwards up against uh, Kelsey Cottrell 
posting. How often do you see it? We, we're obviously off screen at the moment in the men's fours um, semi final that you can't call the two shots. They're dead even. Yeah, you don't see that uh, very often at all. So obviously, that it's a uh, you know the the, uh, the umpire would have had a couple of goes at it. We've gone around the bowls and uh, obviously couldn't separate them. No, that doesn't happen very often at all. So we watch this bolt. Tony Chills break towards the head. It's going to be short on the line. McElroy would have the shot. As a dumb pipe, it's a marker saying to measure. Yeah, both both won't be happy with their first two bowls and plenty of room to work with for, for both players. As Shannon McElroy now coming on the forehand side with his third. This looks like a good track. It's just going to slide by. And this is going to be the shot, though, bowl. It's pretty much right on line. We look at the three bowls of Shannon McElroy's now been in the all on that identical line, all coming back to the centre line, and just corrected his weight with that last bowl, and thus he's drawn the shot. As we watch this bowl of Tony Chung break down towards the jack, now is it going to go under the line or get to the jack? Certainly trying to get to the jack. He gets the jack. Is he going to be unlucky? No, he got just that nice feather on the jack. And that is the shot. Good bowl, Tony Chung. It's a great correction he's made, as you can see. His first two bowls out here to the left of screen as we look at things, but that's great a great correction. Here. Great chance here for Shannon McElroy to play down, to place the bowl out or get to the jack. It's breaking down towards the bowl now. He got it clean, got a touch on the jack. That'll make two shots. Superb bowl by the world champion. Yeah, as soon as a question's asked of him, that's what he brings up as we see a chance to see the replay here. Uh, Tony Chung had delivered one of his best bowls of this match so far and then straight back Shannon McElroy says I can see that, I can knock that out of the way and I can draw the shot and that is now two, possibly three to Shannon McElroy and it is the three, the lollipop goes up to the right of screen, so it's three to Shannon McElroy and Tony Shung goes, I have to do that again Well this become, this three becomes could become quite a big break in this game now, you know, three shots, take him 9-2 but McElroy just played that You know, his, his eyes lit up actually when he saw the bowl there, because he played those other bowls directly in the line, gave him plenty of opportunity to play down towards the jack, played it well, got a touch on the jack, and uh, now holding three shots, as we see Tony Chung, three down, playing on his forehand, the left-hander, the 47-year-old playing with weight it looks like a bit too much green. It's going to slide by all four New Zealand bowls. So it's going to be a three to Shannon McElroy as he is stamping his control on this men's singles semi-final. He is now leading 9-2 in the race to 21. And the winner to face either Ray Pierce of Australia or Canada's Ryan Bester. And 4-0 to New Zealand in the men's four. After three ends, of course, they just had a dead end. Now, uh, it, uh, what happens, of course, although nobody scored on that last end, it still counts as a completed end. So New Zealand leading 4-0 over Canada. And the pairs just dropped to five, so they're now trailing 9-4. 9-4, the women's pair of Joe Edwards and Kirsten Edwards. So that's a big number to drop. Uh, those can be costly against top oppositions like Australia. So all of a sudden they were... Leading women's pair now down by five. Uh, New Zealand men's four of Ali Forsyth, Gary Lawson, Jamie Hill, and Mike Kernahan. They are leading Canada 4 mil after three of 15 ends of their semi final. And on screen here on stuff.co.nz, Shannon McElroy of New Zealand up against Tony Chung of Hong Kong men's single semi final race to 21. And McElroy has won all but one end so far. 9-2 he leads in control, Kevin. Well, he has. He's got consistency in his game now coming down on the forehand. Though his foot, first pole was a metre short. He certainly got consistency. And he's, whereas Tony Chung is certainly still trying to find where to go, so to speak. And Shannon McElroy there running into his own short pole. Yeah, he might be too happy with that, that Shannon McElroy to see. And this is given an opening to... Tony Shung, who will come on his forehand side. Opportunity to draw the shot, especially with McElroy's bowl sitting almost in the line, protecting the jack from the weighted bowl, and that's a good bowl from Tony Chung as he does just that. Draws just in behind the jack by a foot or so, and he now 
holds the shot halfway through the scent. And Shannon McElroy asking the marker how, how much room that there is, and they reckon that they're talking about the second, whether it's a, a measure to the second shot or not. So Shannon McElroy, we may well see him change his hand and endeavour to get down on that backhand side so he doesn't get tangled up in the front, just waiting for the line best of group to go past. And that is what Shannon McElroy is doing, changing, coming down on that backhand, trying to follow the bowl, which is shot down the Tony Chung bowl. And the question, the weight, the line, how does it look as it breaks towards the head? And that pesky front bowl again. He ran into his own front bowl. For the second time. So, not what he wanted. Uh, again, an opening for Tony Chung. So, maybe the... the Messiest end McElroy's played so far in this match. Certainly is, and he'll be disappointed with that after playing a couple of really top bowls on the last end as he watches this bowl going to break towards the head, gets a feather. And it'll still only be the, I think it'll still be the one, I think the shot. The, Might be the second. That to see what the marker does with the lollipops. Shannon McElroy still looking at the head, which is the best option to play. Going to have the marker's going to have a little look now after Shannon McElroy's had his chance to inspect the head and to visualise and to now walk to the mat for his fourth and final bowl of the end. And indicating two, two, two in a measure. So it's imperative here that Shannon McElroy doesn't get shot, he gets second shot. That's the main thing. He's got room to draw down on that backhand port or even turn his own bowl over. He doesn't want to narrow it up too much, trying to get. Down to the Tony Chung bowl, which is definitely the shot. Is it breaking down towards the head now? Is he going to get a feather and go, well, oh, that'll make, definitely, we'll wait for the luck marker. Yeah, just the one. So that's McElroy would be. He's lucky there, though. That, that, was. that could, that bowl, that ended up being the second now, which is the one, the bottom one of the three, just the left of screen. That's the second bowl, so stopping it being two or three to Tony Shung. That could have easily spat out the side and with his, with his bowl trailing trailing through and behind the head, that could have been four possible to Tony Chung. Well, instead, it's just the one and Chung will want to have an opportunity to draw another one and make it two. Yeah, Shannon, a wee bit fortuitous there where he got the rub off the bowl. He certainly left the gate open for Tony Chung, as he goes back to the mat now, definitely holding one and trailing 9-2 in the race to 21. And I see the Canadian skip driving over there in that men's fours with New Zealand leading 4-0 after three. And they still have the mat New Zealand, and they picked up another shot. So after four, they lead Canada in their men's fours semi-final. Five, nothing. That's the quartet of Ali Forsyth, Gary Lawson, Jamie Hill, and Mike Kernahan. Great bowl here from Tony Chung, came down on this, uh, to his counting bowl, got a touch on the jack, sat right on top of it, and uh, we'll make two of it. There's no need to get any measures or look around. And he's got the mat back, Tony Chung, so he brings it a bit further forward, and he'll no doubt go for quite a long end, get this towards the tee, if he can. And the New Zealand woman's peers the last up there. Might be too head. much on this from Tony Chung. So kind of sit up. I believe it has sat up, so it's going to be placed now on the tee as Kevin Hicklin's checking out what's going on in the women's pairs semi final. 10 4 to Australia. 10 4 to Australia after six ends, after picking up at five and then a one. So a lot of work to do for the Joe Edwards, Kirsten Edwards uh, combination in that 18 end semi final. And so nine New Zealand, four to Shannon McElroy. Yeah, so New Zealand leading two of the three semi finals they're in. At the moment, that men's four, Shannon McElroy in the men's singles, but not so Joe and Kirsten Edwards in the women's pairs. As Chung with the jack has landed it right on the tee, and so a long dish end, although the mat has been brought up as well. And Chung with his first one is off the mark, and McElroy is short, so two. Pretty average bowls by the standards of these two as they are playing now towards our commentary position, playing from the surface paradise end of 
Broad Beach Bowls Club. Well, Shannon has played four of his last five bowls that have been short about that same distance. He'd be a bit frustrated with that because he's normally pretty much on the mark. And you watch Tony Chong come down with his second bowl. And he'll draw it down in front of the jack. That'll be a, a shot, all right. It's about two feet at least short of the jack, so still plenty of room. And as Brendan rightly pointed out, the mat's been pulled up as well. So here's now Shannon McElroy on his backhand, breaking down towards the jack. Here's the weight. Looks to have got too much. And it has, and goes past. And then two, to see the lollipop lady put that up. To blue, which is Tony Chong. So it's a good start to this end for him, although he'll want to get his third one a bit closer. He'll know McElroy isn't going to keep missing. So on its way again, the third of the Tony Chong bowls breaks down towards the jack. And he's just done that, Tony Chong. Great bowl. He knew he had to get one close, and that one right in line with the jack. Maybe a foot short, says the marker. Yeah, the marker indicating there that Michael's put the lollipops up three as we watch this McElroy bowl now on its back end. Definitely on its back end. Definitely three down. How far is this under the line? Is it going to sit on anything? Get second shot. It may do. Should be second shot. It and is. There's just one now, Tony Chung holding. But Tony Chung, an opportunity to get rid of that. Second bowl he is would, an option. Wouldn't be happy with that with uh, McElroy because he was still under the line. And yes, Tony Chung can ply down under the line to try and force that bowl out or just draw another one. He certainly drew a very good bowl with his third. And now getting some consistency in his draw play, which he didn't have uh, in the early ends. And now he has, and it's now the pressure's being put back the other way. That uh, only Chung to put in the pressure on Shannon McElroy. McElroy's still leading 9-4 in the race to 21. Yeah, it's all important. That last couple of shots to bring up 21. Doesn't matter too much what happens beforehand. We've seen big comebacks in singles play. And they're not too distant past. Of course, just a couple of days ago, these two met. McElroy raised a 12-shot deficit trail. 13-1 and 15-3 to win 21-16. Miss Chung right on line again, just a couple of feet past the head, and that's good enough for two shots, says the, the marker. So McElroy well, put under a bit of pressure here for the first time. We'll see how he reacts. Otherwise, we'll be well, we'll tightening be up since the three-shot game. I wouldn't be surprised to see uh, Shannon McElroy now coming down, trying to come down through that port to reach to the, you know, he's gone for the draw again, definitely two down on the backhand, just got to get this line right as it starts breaking down towards the head now, he's going to be under the line, he can make second shot of it, he may have, he may have, we'll just wait to see what the marker does because he did finish in front of his other bowl, so we'll just wait and see. Certainly one to Tony Chung, and Shannon McElroy gets that one out of the way, and is it two? I think it may be still two to Tony Chung. They're going to get the measure out, I believe. Tony Chung having a bit of a look right now. And it's just the one. So he accepts it's just the one. So that last bowl doing just enough. I don't think it was exactly where Shannon McElroy wanted it, but it got a bit of a kiss off the front bowl. And it was the second shot. So Tony now... Mc Shannon McElroy uh, would be... Uh, when the a bit relieved to get second shot there because, you know, he was narrow. He was under the line and, uh, you know, a bit of pressure coming on now from the uh, Hong Kong China player, from uh, the Tony Chung, who certainly drawn significantly better over the last three ends. New Zealand leading 5-0 over Canada after four ends in the semi-final of the men's four. And our last update from the women's peer semi-final, New Zealand were trailing Australia by 10 to 4, 10 to 4. So here we have Tony Chung now playing his first bowl and trailing Shannon McElroy 9-5 and certainly getting more consistency now in his draw. Although short, that bolt was still arcing in towards the, the jack. So Shannon McElroy on that backhand side. Well, he's had a couple of 
messy ends by his standards and we'll see how he bounces back here while he's long again with the weight. I think that might just stay up. No, it doesn't. In the ditch that one goes. As the jack's right on the two meter, you know, right on the two meter mark and the and the mat is up. But we're playing, you know, the the, the, the right to the allowable length, the two meter mark. So here's now Tony Chung on his backhand, definitely holding the shot. Trailing Shannon McElroy at 9-5, nine, 9-5. Five, nine, five. And this is going to go past as well, but and directly in behind the jack, right on the centre line. But, yeah, McElroy, plenty of room for him though, on that backhand side to draw the shot. And I just question that line again, Brendan, how far under the line it is as it breaks down towards the head now. Is it going to hold up on that line? Yes, it will, and it makes shot. The marker puts the red marker pig up, definitely one to New Zealand. And he'd be relieved to have the shot because it's been a few bowls since he's actually held a shot, isn't it? Yeah, it has. He's been put under pressure, and it's a great pipe pack by Tony Chung. You know, Shannon McElroy off to a very hot start, really dictating terms, but Hong Kong's Tony Chung has fought back well, certainly not giving in. He'll be disappointed with that one, though, is that trails past the jack. It's going to stay in place, so not in the ditch, but not far in front of the ditch. 12-4 to Australia. 12-4 after seven ends in the Women's Peers semi-final. That's Joe Edwards and Kirsten Edwards up against Lindsay Clark and Kelsey Cottrell. So a lot of work for them to do as they watch this bowler. Shannon McElroy's break towards the jack. And yeah, that'll count, I would say. Yes, it does. It does. The marker indicates two to Shannon McElroy. The two red lollipops go up. So McElroy just fighting his way back here as Tony Chung wants to have a look at the head before he plays his final bowl of the send. Of course, he's got one that's still on the green, just out of pitch up. And Shannon McElroy has one that went into the ditch and is out of play now. Of course, we have seen... We have seen Tony Chung playing this side of the rink and having a look at what he's going to play. The measure coming out again and that New Zealand men's fours game. I can see about three bowls in front all locked around the jack. Uh, New Zealand has picked up the shot. The marker seems to be favouring the red lollipops. He's just deciding how many red lollipops he's going to put up, I think. But we'll see. And it is one, is it? One to New one Zealand. One to New Zealand, so... Keeping Canada scoreless, so after five of the 15 ends in the men's fours final, it is now New Zealand six, Canada nil. That's the quartet of Ali Forsyth, Skip, Gary Lawson, Jamie Hill and Mike Kernahan. And uh, women's pairs, as Kevin mentioned before, down against Australia. That's Joe Edwards and Kirsten Edwards. And here on screen, Shannon McElroy, the world champion in this discipline, the men's singles Trying to win the Asia-Pacific Championship men's singles for the first time. And we just saw two down was Tony Chung, and he played his last bowl. And was fat, I would say, it's a wee bit fortuitous because he was definitely under the line. Played with weight to get to the two county McElroy bowls. Did so, sat the second one and ran inside and sat the marker indicated. One shot to the Hong Kong trying to play it. Shannon McElroy having a good look over the top to see what that score is. And, of course, also next uh, out here as well, next New Zealand Fours team, we've got Australia men's fours up against Malaysia. So there's a full a full menu of semi-final matches on around the green here this afternoon. Yeah, eight semi-finals in total, all played at once. So that's an absolute bevy of bowls here at Broadbeach Bowls Club. So here we see now Shannon McElroy changing his hand and he's going to obviously try and play down and to sit the bowl through the head. It's on its way, the McElroy bowl. Is it breaking down towards the head now? Is it going to break far enough? Just goes outside it with ditch weight. Interesting play there. I would, would have thought there'd be more space on that backhand side just to Draw the shot. He wants to ha have a measure, I think, between these two. Yeah, because he's not 100% sure that the mark is right and thinking that Tony Chung has the shot. But I would have thought he would have just played on that backhand side of the right as we look at it, Kevin, and, and try and 
There's plenty of space there. Well, I thought he would too, actually, because he had played a couple down there and had managed to get the shot down there. And uh, so the marker was, it is. was right. right. So another shot to Tony Chung. Well, this is quite some fight back now. There's three shots between the two. So Shannon McElroy, nine, plays Tony Chung, six. New Zealand against Hong Kong in this race to 21. We have another men's singles match alongside, of course, Ryan Bester of Canada. I think it's Ray Pierce of Australia. I can tell you in that race to 21, it's 10 apiece. Well, it's a matter really of, uh, to, uh, with the, uh, the McElroy game, it's really a matter of Shannon once again putting some heads together. And uh, that's what he's just been sort of struggling to do. And over the last couple of years, and uh, I just let's just hope he can get back to his rhythm. That's the big go. Yeah, Tony Chung again bringing the mat forward. This time, not quite getting the distance of the jack. Wanted it to be on the tee. It's probably a good meter in front of the tee from Tony Chung, but it hasn't stopped him getting quite close to the jack. Probably a foot or so high. So it's on its way. The Tony Chung ball. Again, just in front of the jack. That's a good opening bowl. And, and McElroy's just going to just slide past on that narrower line. Whereas before, we were seeing Shannon McElroy's bowls finishing in the draw line. They're just sort of skirting a wee bit now on the outside of the line. And, and you can see the flags as well uh, at the top of our screen. You've got the flag of China and the flag of... Macau there as well, showing that the breeze is coming across our screen, going from right to, to left as we're looking at it. So favouring when you're playing this side. And so the lefty uh, of Tain Chung uh, coming back a bit longer. has a McElroy's when he's playing on this backhand side. But you've got to make sure you have enough green because they are going to come back a bit more than they usually would because they're wind assisted as well. Well, we're just watching this bowl now of Shannon McElroy's. You just saw... How much that came back as he did knock the other bowl in for shot of the uh, the Tony Chung bowl. And we've just seen a very quick reversal here whereby the pressure's gone on our New Zealand player, leading 9-6 in the race to 21. And Tony Chung definitely holding two here as he's about to play his third bowl. And Brendan rightly said, looking at those flags, you can see at the far end there, uh, certainly getting that breeze off the sea which will certainly see the bowls at the finish draw down in towards the jack. And it's certainly got to be on that wider line. And he'll be quite happy with that bowl. It's gone in behind the head and cutting the options off for Shannon McElroy. And I think McElroy's going to be forced to possibly change his hand to try and draw down through the V to get to the counting bowls. He's staying on that backhand. Got to make sure that he gets a wider line. See if he can make the adjustment here. Shannon McElroy, a couple being too narrow. This looks similar, but this might be on target for one of those bowls from Tony Chung. And it's going to knock one of them out. So cut it to now one shot, I believe. Or is that bowl he knocked out? Still can't know. Just the one now to Tony Chung. So one gone for a Hong Kong player, McElroy. Cuts the deficit of what his opponent's holding at the moment. And Tony Chung has another bowl to play as he just comes down to it, assess the head. But what we are starting to see, Brendan, is now Tony Chung is starting to control uh, control more and, and Shannon is, is on the reduc reduction path at the last four ends. But not, I've seen Shannon record play enough and he'll get back into his, his, uh, into his flow. And uh, still, uh, in, you know, no, there's nothing in this game, that's for sure. 9-6, McElroy leads one down on the head. And as we mentioned earlier, he, his, his composure, his game face has not changed, no matter what the score is. And he's looked exactly the same when he was up by quite a few. And now with the, the game tightening up, that bowl of Tony Chung just touching that front bowl of McElroy and drawing it closer to the jack, not what... He would have wanted, so still holding the one as Chung, but that could have worked out poorly. So Shannon McElroy now looking at that shot on that other hand to get to the jack. Or if he plays down, uh, trying to, looking at his own front bowl, trying to get, 
get a feather off that and can run in towards the bowl of Tony Chung. And on the other hand, to get the dislodge the bolt, he'd have to play with significant weight. And the problem with that is that Tony Chung, he owns the back of the green with a back bowl. So not a lot of options here for Shannon McElroy. And I think we might see him go to his... No, he's staying on that backhand, I think, too. And he is staying on the backhand, trying to force his way down to... Yeah, he's playing on the forehand. Oh, he's playing on the forehand, which we thought might be the best shot option. Trying to get through that gap. Has to get to this bowl here. Is outside it. It'll be another one to Tony Chung. And now be 9-7, nine, 9-7. Seven, nine, seven. Yeah, great comeback by Tony Chung. It continues here. So now just two shots between them. The Shannon McElroy still leading Tony Chung. But it's only now 9-7. Nine, 9-7 seven. Nine, seven in the race to 21. And this men's pairs semi-final. Brought to you here on stuff.co.nz. Myself, Brenton Villasaroy, alongside Kevin Hickland from the Broad Beach Bowls Club on the Gold Coast of Australia. I think Kevin has an update from the Women's Pairs semi final, New Zealand and Australia. 13 4 to Australia now, 13 4 to Australia. And two shots for Canada, excuse me, and the men's pair, men's fours semi final, excuse me. Against New Zealand, so New Zealand now leading six two after after six of the fifteen ends. Now, interesting here that we saw uh, Tony Chung lose the jack, and, and Shannon McElroy might be giving it straight back to him. He may well be because that looked as though was it made it or was it? So it did. So now, of course, it's the option. The jack goes on the two meter mark, which. He'll be happy with Tony Chong because that's pretty much what he's been doing. <laughs> and he'll bring the mat up, which again, which he's done, which he'd done initially. And because what uh, Shannon McElroy was trying to do was virtually play what's termed as ditch to ditch with the mat right back and the jack on the two metre mark. But it went into the ditch to the jack. So after two attempts, it automatically then sees the, the jack placed on the two metre mark. And this is certainly the, the length, isn't it, that Tony Chung is very comfortable with. And he's rattled McElroy here as far as he's put him off his length and his weight. Right, well, now the gate's open. Tony Chung's played his first bowl, and it's very short. So here now, Shannon McElroy, every chance now on the back end to put the pressure on early. And this scoring spree started when Shannon McElroy was holding a couple of shots. And Tony Chung and plays this a superb ball. And if they're going to go by, it's a handy start. That just sits him behind the jack. And not far away from Nina Toucher and trailing the, the jack. Shannon McElroy with his first. Tony Chung will want to quickly make a change, an adjustment from his first bowl, which is short. He manages to get around that. But this one's going to be short as well. He won't be happy with that one. The line was better. The weight again awry. And, of course, that, that bowl of Tony Chung's virtually sitting, not on the centre line, but close enough to it, which now Shannon McElroy, the gate's been left open for him. It breaks down towards the head, the second bowl of McElroy's. Just going to pull up short on a good line to the jack, holding two. I think now Tony Chung would change his hand to try and sit down to the McElroy bowl. And that's what he's going to do now, trying to get down to what is the, the front counting bowl of Shannon McElroy's. And it's on its way. A Hong Kong player trailing 9-7 in the race to 21. And how far is it coming back? It's on a good line. Is it going to get, got a touch on the bowl? Unfortunate there. Now, that's, actually better, that's actually better for Shannon McElroy. It's turned that, that sort of opened that, closed that side off. McElroy now, if he can get down to that jack and close that that path off and hold three. He wanted a more solid connection, didn't he, Tony Chung? He wanted to get rid of that shot bowl instead. He's just pushed it out of the way for McElroy to drop a third in the area. And so McElroy now holding three. And it's been a bit messy from Tony Chung. He was unfortunate with his last bowl and now really has well and truly open the door for McElroy and he has to come up with a good one here 
Otherwise, he'll be dropping one and maybe a number because at the moment, McElroy's holding three with a bowl to play. And he certainly you know, can't afford to be short. And he'll play down. Shannon McElroy on, of course, Tony Chung's forehand he'll play on. The left-hander, he's on the mat. Definitely three down. Playing down towards the surface paradise end. It's on its way. And it's certainly, he's playing with weight under the line. Now what's going to happen here? Going to get his feet off that pole. Through. That was a dangerous shot that he played with his three down. My goodness. The point that I make, Brendan, is you're coming back into the game. You know, you draw a second shot, you drop one. You're only three behind. You, o- you open the gate doing a lot four. of the good work he's done the last yeah. few rounds, isn't he? Yeah, you open the gate for four down. 13 7, and, and it's exactly and what's going to happen. Should be four, does it have the weight? Should still be enough, I think. I well, would we think so. It's on a, front, on a front line to the jack, and it, it is. is four, yeah. so yeah, it's a great point you make, Kevin Eklund. If it, if it could have just tried to go for the draw and drop one. There was room to do that, but he played for the more aggressive shot. Didn't want to drop anything in the end. He's dropped four. Well, possibly 10 7 becomes 13 7. And you know, when you're playing the, up to 21, it just sort of... And a player like Shannon McElroy, who did get his confidence belted around a bit there for a few ends because he couldn't find the line, etc. All of a sudden he found it, door was open, bang, four shots. And again, we've seen now Shannon McElroy playing up towards the board beach end. He's delivered the jack right to the two-metre mark, but he's going to be under the line. And now it's about that consistency... Reasonably good weight. Finishes about one o'clock, but Jack Lowe. And it's interesting. He's decided to, to bring up the mat as well and play right to the to the limit, the length there, which is pretty much what Tony Chung has been doing as well. So I don't think he'll be too upset about this, the Hong Kong player. No, it's interesting. Shannon McElroy, of course, went the other hand in as well. But what we'll say, I'd say the less windier hand. And uh, watch this bolt. But Tony Chung, he's made no mistake. He left the... The gate was open for him. The Santa McElroy just fell that fraction short under the line. And I think McElroy's still better following the Tony Chung bolt. And he's had another think about this. And get out and let the bolt draw under his own. And he's... What's going on up there? He's on the mat. I think just seeing a few players, maybe your officials moving around, but where he was looking, so just waited for those to move, and now he plays again on the backhand side. Just going to dip away. That's all, well, still not the shot, but he's got bowls, he's got a good bowl around the head, and he can, McElroy can play with confidence, as you'll see now, on the forehand for the left-hander, playing on the forehand side, on where the sea breeze is just, Bringing the bowls in a wee bit. Training 13 7 is Tony Choi. And it's going to come up short. So McElroy now can play on his backhand. And he went to reach to the jack or the shot bowl. So Chung still holding the one shot on this end. Trailing though by six in this race to 21. McElroy playing Looks with narrow. Wayne. Going to have to be very lucky. He got his own. Just pushed it out to the side of the head. He dis- I think Shannon would be disappointed about the number of bowls that are slipping under the line. The well, year. I assume he was trying to play for this one. This is the, yep. the bowl to the, to the right-hand side and try and play just on the outside of that and play it towards the jack. But he got his line he might, he might completely get wrong. Might get a helping hand here. Well, that's pretty much what Shannon McElroy was trying to do, <laughs> and his opponent, Tony Chung, has done it for him. And that is fortuitous. Chung's still holding the shot, says the marker. And McElroy wants to have a little look himself. That's what the marker's indicating, and she's been pretty spot on with her game so far in this match. This men's singles semi final here on stuff.co.nz. This is the Asia Pacific Championships, the penultimate day of these championships on the Gold Coast. Of Australia and a mostly fine day today. There was a big thunderstorm in between the quarterfinals from this morning. We brought you the women's pairs quarterfinal, New Zealand 
beating Hong Kong in that one to make it through the semi-finals, which are in action at the moment. And the green that we're playing on right now was flooded, believe it or not, a couple of hours ago, but now running faster than it maybe it has for the last few days. So here's now Shannon McElroy playing with weight, trying to get to his own bowl onto the jack, but only pushed it closer to the Tony Chung bowl. Well, he wasn't far away, was he? Because a bit more of the bowl, he gets all of the jack, and it trails back, and he's holding two, or possibly three, but... Instead, he only gets a bit of it, only gets a bit of the jack, and it just goes a bit closer to that shot bowl of Tony Chung. So now Chung has a chance to draw a second, and perhaps he's actually already holding two. So Shadow McElroy had a look before he went down to play, and uh, I wouldn't have thought he'd have played with that weight if he was two down, but we'll soon know. That well, of course, he took out what was his correct. number two bowl. There's Chung looking to draw. This looks like it's got a decent line. If it holds up and it will, great ball by Tony Chung. So that's certainly two. Could it be more? Great bounce back where he just drops a big number. He just dropped a four. And now as he bounced back with three here. There's a lot of applause for Santa Macro, for uh, Ali Forsyth. In the just two. So it's two to Tony Chung. So now. 13-9, 13-9, Shannon McElroy leading Tony Chung, and this men's singles semi-final, Kevin, as you're keeping a bit of an eye on the men's four semi-final New Zealand against Canada. Yes, New Zealand just picking up a one then in that uh, that last bowl of Ali Forsyth. So another one to New Zealand in that semi-final, and it is 7-2 to New Zealand, now 7-2 to New Zealand. And of course, 18, uh, 15 ends in the in the fours, so it's 7-2. So almost halfway through that, seven ends played of that men's fours. We'll see if we can update shortly from the women's pairs as well. Three New Zealand does in action in their semi-finals. The women's triple is the odd one out as there's eight semi-finals taking place right now here at the Broad Beach Bowls Club on the Gold Coast of Australia tomorrow. It's all about the finals. We will have finals action, fingers crossed, for you if there is a New Zealand presence in the finals. In the mornings, morning, we'll have women's pairs and men's fours. So certainly a chance for two Kiwis to be an influence there, and the men's fours and the women's pairs in the afternoon. All going well here. Shannon McElroy gets an eight more shots. He'll be in the men's singles final. That one from 3 p.m. New Zealand time. And we have, of course, those earlier finals from 11 a.m. All here on stuff.co.nz. If the Kiwis, of course, are involved, which, judging by last week, I think there's a fair chance we'll have a Kiwi presence tomorrow. And Shannon McElroy with his first pole just drew a front toucher. And Tony Chung with his second tried to respond to it and just fell on the top of the McElroy pole. Shannon McElroy holding the shot, leading 13 to 9, 13 to 9. In the race to 21, still really pretty tight. As we see the, Shannon, the second bowl of Shannon McElroy's fall short. Now we'll see a change of hand from Tony Chung. Go to his backhand. He can play down underneath his own bowl. Get down to that, that McElroy counting bowl. Get down to the jack. That's what he's trying to do as it breaks down towards the head now. Just going to see how, how what the width of this bowl is. Gets a feather and a generous feather. No, it doesn't all but the shot. He was lucky there, Tony Chung, wasn't he? Yeah, able to get that touch off that wide bowl. Apologies for those if you struggle with a bit of motion sickness. Obviously, that wind is coming across and affecting the camera right there. Unfortunately, not much we can do about the, the elements. We're able to keep our camera dry, but we can't stop the wind from affecting camera here at Broad Beach Bowls Club and that's where the wind is coming from. It's coming from the ocean. Easterly direction across the green. So 16-4 si so now Australia leading Lindsay Clark and Kelsey Cottrell. 16-4 they're leading Joe Edwards, uh, Joe Edwards and Kirsten Edwards in that semi-final. The men's four, the New Zealand four leading Canada 7-2 and Shannon McElroy Leading Tony Chung in the race to 21, 13-9, holding the shot. 
not in one shot on this yet. So I'm sure we'll see him again now. He'll try and play that same shot, Brendan, try and get down inside that Shannon McElroy bolt to the jack. 13-9, New Zealand lead in that race to 21. And, of course, the men fours, they play 15 ends in their semi-final. The other semi-final sees Australia up against Malaysia. That's on the next rink here. It's sun, so, well, with lovely sunshine now, best of the day, actually. It's, oh, it's the warmest it's been all week. There's no doubt about that. And it's been uh, jackets and track pants on for all the players all week until today. It's been rather miserable, especially yesterday. Very dreary. We didn't see the sunshine yesterday. So it was a welcome surprise this morning when we saw it. And I was speaking with Ali Forsyth, Kevin, yesterday. The skip of the men's foyer said they're certainly looking for some sunshine and for these greens to, to quicken up. And so far, it looks like they're enjoying them over there. 7-2 up over Canada, that Canadian side who came through on an extra end to make it through to the semifinals. And still holding the shot. And Shannon McElroy. Oh, you just seen on your screen, Tony Chung had a, a, a weighted shot down there and did get a feather off the uh, Shannon McElroy bowl, but just the barest of feathers. And with the weight he had, ran on through the head, leaving Shannon McElroy holding one, which takes him, of course, back to 49, depending whether he adds now. And he'll come down on this forehand side, trying to draw through the port. About a metre to draw through the port and get to the counting position and as we said Australian peers of Lindsay Clark and Kelsey Cottrell certainly jumped out now a good lead 16-4 the last count over Kirsten Edwards and Joe Edwards in New Zealand combination and it is another single to Shannon McElroy so he now leads Tony Chung 14-9 14-9 in the race to 21 this men's singles semi-final here from the Broad Beach Bowls Club on the Gold Coast of Australia. The other men's singles semi-final has Ryan Bester of Canada up against Australia's Ray Pearce. And I can tell you that Bester is leading Ray Pearce 16-14 in that race to 21. Two fine players, of course, McElroy and Bester met a few weeks ago at the Broad Beach Bowls Club. An invitational tournament. Pester got the better of McElroy on that occasion. So McElroy will be keen for a chance to get the better of Bester, who, of course, is playing at his home club here at Broad Beach. So here we see the first Shannon McElroy bowl. And so runs into the Jack with a wee bit of weight with his first bowl. Jack now sitting virtually on the two-metre mark. And Shannon McElroy bowl sitting... Jack Lowe, below, not that far away. Good bowl from McElroy, holding one, leading 49 in the race to 21 in the semi final. And Tony Chung breaks down towards the head. Is it going to get all the way? Don't think so. Just short of a metre of weight. And Shannon McElroy, right deep, will go straight to his backhand, so he's not going to get caught up in the short bowl, which is there. And of course, earlier on today, we saw. The New Zealand women's triples team go down to Canada after being right behind and catching right up to 15-14. And then I think it was on the 16th end, 15th or 16th end, dropping a four, which made it a big challenge for them and not to be. But, of course, all of those players, that's Wendy Jensen, Caitlin Inch and Val Smith, uh, were gold medal winners. As we watch Tony Choi, he's playing with weight, trying to get down to the jack and got onto the bowl and will now hold shot because it pushed the Shannon McElroy bowl into the ditch, did Tony Chung and we'll just wait to see where it's gone to. Here comes the replay of this one so playing with the aggressive shot, unfortunate that it went onto the jack as well the jack will be must still be in play the jack I assume because it hasn't been re-spotted so Watch here now, Shannon McElroy drawing down towards the ditch and he's done so just about right under the number 14 you can see there on your screen So it went into the ditch, the jack and see that yellow marker that indicates, well you know, I can't see it now with Tony Chung but when he moves out of the way you'll be able to see where the jack is in relation as well, and there it is that yellow marker indicates 
where it is. And so far, Shannon McElroy with that bowl you could just see before, just in front of the yellow one, is Tony Chung getting himself familiar with our camera. And our end there, the uh, Surf's Paradise end of Broad Beach Bowls Club. Thank you, Tony, for moving out of the way there. So there's three bowls all pretty much in a line. And the front one is uh, Shannon McElroy. There you go. There's a great camera angle of it. So it's still a good metre and a half probably away from the ditch is Shannon McElroy's, but that's holding shot at the moment. So Tony Chung has a lot of space to move into it. And there's that yellow marker as well, bottom right-hand corner on the screen. That's the jacks just below that. And now McElroy trying to draw to there, and he's played with too much weight. So Canada just picked up a one in the men's fours. And it's 17-4 now, 17-4 to Australia in the women's pairs. Kelsey Cottrell and Lindsay Clark over Kirsten Edwards and Joe Edwards. And I can't quite see the scoreboard. I think it's our 7 3 to New Zealand uh, in the 4s. It is after 8 of the 15 ends, 7 3. And Tony Chung will make his way back to the mat. He's just had a little look and see what kind of weight he does have to play. He's can see that he's actually got quite a lot of space to, to work into. McElroy tried to draw to the ditch but was unable to do so. It landed in the ditch and now that bowl is out of play. And now trying to play with that weight. It's going to have too much, so I believe it's going to go into the ditch as well, does it? Can't quite see. No, it stays up. But it sits it, on the pig. Look at that. It's just in play, is it? And it should be one to Tony Chung. And that'll be the judge of whether that's just in play. And it should be from our camera angle just inside. Looks as though it's sitting virtually on the peg line. And of course, our camera angle from the middle. So the number 14 there. We're right in line with that number 14. So we're looking outside. So that should be in play. And it is that one. I don't know where I saw a red go up momentarily, but it must be a blue as we... Wait, yeah, it was one to Tony Chung in confirmation. So now 14 10 in the race to 21. Shannon McElroy still leading, but Tony Chung there drawing the shot with the ball just on the lip of the ditch after he trailed the jack into the ditch. I think Shannon McElroy desperately would like to get, as we've seen throughout this competition, um, Brendan, that, that draw game of his really going. It was interesting that. That uh, the jack the, the mat was laid and it was actually laid over here on this line here and there's the number there and they had to move the mat back to. Uh, well, they got a bit confused, obviously, where everything ended up last time round. And now the mat in its rightful place, in line with our camera there. So yeah, I'm sure Shannon McElroy would just like to get that consistent draw game going, which he has had right throughout this uh, singles, and he's certainly in these last ends has sort of been. A bit out and about, so to speak. So he's now on the backhand. There's Tony Chung trailing 14-10 in the race to 21. New Zealand fours leading 7-3. Good opening bolt here. Very good opening bolt by the Hong Kong player. Yeah, just a foot away. Great bowl by Tony Chung. Playing on that backhand side, the lefty, and now... The right-handed Shannon McElroy playing on his backhand side. Looks narrow. The weight looks decent, mate. Just touch that bowl of Tony Chung. It does. Well, that's a bit fortunate. And it's worked out like that. But McElroy may now be holding the shot. was a bit fortuitous because uh, it was actually under the line that we've been talking about, uh, Brendan. And we watch this bowl now. Tony Chung, he's trying to play a similar shot, trying to get to the jack with the bowl. And it's going to go past, and Marker is picking that bolt up, so that's gone into the ditch. So leaving Shannon McElroy holding the shot. Change his hand now. Now on his forehand, holding one with the blue and white stroke bowl. He seems to have a far better arc on this now as it breaks towards the head. That that's a good bowl from good Shannon bowl. McElroy. Playing to that shot bowl, and as the marker indicates, just there around the score. That's two red lollipops go up. So McElroy holding two shots, just getting a little touch 
on that shot ball. On the charge is the Hong Kong player, and he just got his own and flipped everything around. And so just got a touch on that outside McElroy ball, and then it hit the other one onto the shot. It's still two to McElroy, as now that Jack has moved some two feet away from the tee, as you can see on screen. Senator McElroy will certainly want to put the pressure map on the last bowl of the Hong Kong player and hold three. And again, this is going to be under the line. Is it going to sit and hold? How far is it going to go? It'll count for sure. That's three. So big pressure here. Big pressure on the Hong, Hong Kong player. On the backhand, definitely three down. McElroy leading 14 10 in the race to 21. Still plenty of room to work on with. On its way. For Tony Shaw. On its way. Is it under the line? Is it under the line? I think it is, Brendan, and light. Is it maybe the third? Is it maybe only two now to McElroy? It may be good enough for the third. McElroy's doing a little measure himself. Well, whatever it is, he's got the great chance of either going to 17 or 18. Yeah, the market saying now just two. Well, Shannon McElroy, every chance here. And, of course, if you can make it three, he can go out after that because 14 takes him to 17 and four makes 21. I'm not saying they're going to score the four all at once, but it certainly puts you in that stronger position. And he'd be disappointed there. Tony Chong falling short. And you just heard a big round of applause coming through our fixed microphones, and that was because it's been decided the other men's singles semi-final. Canada's Ryan Bester, the Royal Beach boy, has beaten Ray Pierce of Australia 21-14. So getting the better of Pierce in the rematch. Is that one from McElroy just slides by, but it should be good enough to count. So that should be three, you'd think, to McElroy, is it? Two have come out. I'd, I'd, I'd like three, looks like according for the measure. So the winner of this match to face Canada's Ryan Bester in the final. That from 3 p.m. tomorrow. If McElroy is there, we will have that here for you on stuff.co.nz. And he's holding shots here, so he's going to get two. Is he going to get three? McElroy's a bit more interested in this one's closer than it looks like on the screen. So they've taken two out. He's pretty keen on it. He's interested in this one, isn't he? Really? Go back to now the Hong Kong bowl. Taken two out. Leading 14 10. And Shannon McElroy putting the tape now to the Hong Kong China bowl. Could see the umpire called here. Yeah, Tony Chung's going to have a little look too. Yeah. Shannon McElroy thinks it's well, potentially four. Uh, just watching here in the men's fours, I can see a decent red number, I think. One, two, three, four, is it? And we'll wait and see when the lollipops go up, but they're currently signalling four, and it is four to New Zealand. So now after nine ends of 15 in the men's fours final, that's Ellie Forsyth, Gary Lawson, also... Jamie Hill and Mike Kernahan are now up by a big number after the scoring four. And we saw three scored, I believe, by New Zealand in the men's singles. So they now lead Shannon McElroy 17-10. And in the men's fours, it's New Zealand over Canada 11-3. So Shannon McElroy, that's a big end. Tony Chung, who's been fighting, absolutely fighting. In this match, yeah, made a rough start. Shannon McElroy looked in control, didn't he, Kevin? But certainly did. Certainly over the last half a dozen to maybe more ends, Tony Chung has probably got the better, more often than not, of the world singles champion. Certainly about, you have to do about consistency of the draw. Uh, Tony Chung has certainly been pretty consistent. About Shannon McElroy now comes down towards the jack, gets a touch on it. And, and Shannon McElroy would have been disappointed a number of years where he's just faded away, uh, sort of under the line. And I see now, coming this way, he's changed his hand again, gone away from the windy hand, playing obviously slightly narrow, because there is, look at those flags up there, Brendan, they, there is wind, you can see this bowl holding on that line out there, that bowl uh, of Tony Chung's, whereas just 
the other hand as we saw bowls were cutting across the line obviously in that breeze yeah so when Shannon McElroy is playing this hand he can play with a bit more narrow because he's sort of the wind the balls the bowls trying to come into the wind so it's not coming back as much as if he's playing the backhand which is the right hand side of the screen from this direction he has to play with a bit more green which is to play the angle a bit further out because the bowl is going to naturally come in more because of the wind. So that's what Kevin's describing here. And you can see the flags at the top of the screen, often gusting from right to left. And that's certainly having an impact on this match here as they're playing from the surface end to our commentary position here at Broad Beach Bowls Club. Now you'll see how much under the line that bowl then came of uh, Tony Chung's and uh, I think the umpire or the market measured one and a measure to Shannon McElroy. And you can see as Brenda was saying, the difference of that line. Shannon McElroy now gone out to the other hand, but the good thing is he's out on the wider side of it, trying to get down towards the jack or the shot ball. No, he's going to fall short. And because of that variance in the wind, uh, Brendan, you've got two different weights as well. Uh, so playing on the windy hand, you do have to give it more weight because the ball has to draw its way back, whereas you're on a straight line uh, to the jack on, on the other hand. So here we have now the third bowl of Tony Chung and he's playing slightly wider, has a wee bit more weight is he going to get to the jack, is he going to get to the jack, he is, he's played a superb bowl there, it draws right alongside the jack yeah, playing into the wind on that backhand side for the, the lefty, that's a great bowl from Tony Chung, putting the pressure back on the world champion, how can he respond now, Shannon McElroy is going to have a little look at things, see if he definitely has the the second and potentially third. So New Zealand in that men's fours, as Brendan said, up against Canada in that semi final. And now leading 11 3. Now 11 3. Is that nine ends gone? Yeah, nine Brendan? of the 15 ends completed in that men's fours semi final. So New Zealand's quartet on top, as they have been throughout. And I think it's Australia leading the other semi final 10 6. I think it is 10 6. I'm sure that's. Australia leading. And that's in the men's fours we're talking about. So Australia against Malaysia in the men's fours. Australia also in control of the women's pairs final against Joe Edwards and Kirsten Edwards of New Zealand. So here's now Shannon McElroy. He's on the mat. He's playing with weight to try and get to that bowl. It was a hard shot trying to get down to the shot bowl, which in fact just fell over then. And Canadian girls clapping over there in their triples semi-final as well against Australia. They obviously scored. Yeah, and they're leading Australia too over there. Of course, Canada, who beat New Zealand in the quarterfinals of the women's triples. And uh, take down the favourites in Australia. So Tony Chung up having a look to see whether he's got one or two shots. The impression one got from the way Shannon McElroy played that, and it would have been... Just the one. We'll wait and see. But he certainly drew a really good shot. As Brendan said, with that wind playing into the wind on that narrow side. Now I'm sure we're going to see the Hong Kong China singles player play there again. And if we can, of course, if we can turn the Shannon McElroy bowl over, that's all advantageous. That's what he's endeavouring to do, but he's on the wider side. And You'll see that that bowl of Shannon McElroy was the blue and white one there. He was trying to reach to that. So it should just be one to Tony Chung. And the blue lollipop goes up. So now six shots, the difference between the two. So Shannon McElroy still leads, but his advantage is now six shots, 17 11. It is Shannon McElroy of New Zealand against Tony Chung of Hong Kong. And this, the race to 21. And I believe Kevin Hicklin has an update from the women's pairs. Yes, 19-5 now to Australia after 13 years. 19-5, the combination of Kelsey Cottrell and Lindsay Clark up against Joe, L, Joe Edwards and Kirsten Edwards. And Australia in a very commanding position in that women's pairs semi-final. So here we have the Tony Chung on the backhand, on the mat, trailing Shannon McElroy. 17 to 11. As this bowl now breaks down towards the head. Looks as though it's going to just fade away under the line. It does. And this is the time when McElroy 
really put that pressure on with his first bowl. And here he is on the forehand. Definitely got a wider line than what the Tony Chung had, but is it wide enough? Breaks down towards the head. Now is it going to sit? It sits. That'll be the shot. Sits virtually parallel. Jack level. So we wonder. Hackleboy leading 17-11. So he's four shots away in this race to 21. If he does a business here, and he will be facing Ryan Bester in the men's singles final. And we will have that one for you if McElroy does indeed progress. That will be from 3 p.m. tomorrow afternoon New Zealand time here on stuff.co.nz. It's been a great privilege to bring you this coverage last week and this week alongside Kevin Hicklin, myself, Brent and Vanessa Roy, and a team of Ben and Robbie as well. So a wonderful job behind the scenes. McElroy now putting the pressure on here, Brendan, with a front toucher, touched the jack, moved it back, two shots. Of course, Tony Chunk played two of his bowls now already, so he's got to try and get down on that backhand side to the two counting bowls. Shannon McElroy's been narrow with his first two, and this bowl now going under the line. It may sit one of the McElroy bowls out. No, he goes Somehow through. picks the gap there, Tony Chunk. Through sure. the gap. Pressure mounting. Shannon McElroy, 17, holding two. And Tony Chung, one bowl left. And his front bowl sitting virtually in direct line to the jack. So, Tony McElroy, sorry, Shannon McElroy asking the marker how far away the front bowls are of Tony Chung. And the marker and the cutting quite some distance, almost an arm's length of the marker as well. Well, this could be, this is a big end now. The Hong Kong player certainly under the pump here now. McElroy playing from our commentary position ends towards the surface end, playing on this backhand side. He's going to run into those front bowls of Tony Chung. He didn't want to give a shoulder, obviously, on that other hand. Left it there for Tony Chung to play to what we call a one bowl target. One to New Zealand in the men's fours. Just see the and the birds visit the green there. Yeah, a couple of magpies getting involved. Maybe I hear them in the fix mic as well. Uh, they're visiting the men's fours game. Not interested in the men's singles at the moment. They're all about the fours action, which we're able to give you an update on as well. I believe that's now New Zealand 12-3. They must be through 10, I think, of the 15 ends. But the players is currently in the way of the scoreboard and as you heard not too far away it was the women's peers Joe Edwards and Kirsten Edwards in a quite a big hole against Australia big bowl here for Tony Chung trying to get to the counting bowls got the jack slipped off the Shannon McElroy bowls and managed to get the jack and in fact would lay two now so slight, last bowler's hand two down on the head trailing 17 to 10 Aggressive play, but it's turned out for him. I suppose fortune favours the brave, as they say. Uh, if you yeah. look on the monitors here, you can see you can see where the jack is situated, out, out towards the peg, and the bowl down under the number. In fact, would be the shot. So Shannon McElroy will be trying to draw it in between that counting bowl and the jack. It's on its way. Is the McElroy Bowl leading 17 to 11. 17 11, McElroy leading. This breaks down towards the head, and this is just Fair effort. Start. This is a pretty good effort. This is. Wait it? and see how far away that is indeed. It's still quite some distance, but it should be the shot, is it? We can't see the, the marker there, but McElroy yes, is man. getting the mat, so that means it's a shot to Shannon McElroy. So he's managed to draw the shot, so Tony Chung doing all he could, got a bit of. Fortune going his way, move the jack, and so it's now Shannon McElroy 18, Tony Chung 11 in this the race to 21, the men's singles semi final between Shannon McElroy of New Zealand and Tony Chung of Hong Kong. And if you've just joined us, these two actually played off in section play, and what an epic game it was then as Shannon McElroy trailed 13 1.
15-3 and won 21-16. Quite some comeback. Spoke to him afterwards. He believes he played 25 perfect bowls in the second half of that match to, to force his way back. And, of course, unbeaten in section play. He was 8 from 8. He was unbeaten in the men's pairs with Gary Lawson last week on the way to winning goal. They were 10 from 10. So McElroy trying to make it 19 from 19 here at these Asia-Pacific Championships and get through to the men's singles final against Ryan Bester. And that will certainly be one to watch uh, tomorrow afternoon. If that does eventuate, we will have it for you here on stuff.co.nz from 3 p.m. New Zealand time tomorrow. And Shannon McElroy holding the shot with directly in behind the jack right on the centre line. This is his second ball now. Breaks down on that same line. Sits right in behind the jack. Great ball from McElroy. Leading 18-11. Holding two. You get the feeling McElroy wants to get this done now for the way that it started this end. Certainly now finding his groove, Shannon McElroy. He started well and got a bit awry. And Tony Chung fought his way back into the match. Now McElroy trying to Regain the ascendancy once more and close this one out. Three shots away in this race to 21. Men's single semi-final here at Broad Beach Bowls Club. So the second bowl of Tony Chung's fell short underneath that centre line. And Shannon McElroy playing his third. He's out on that wider side, which is the safe side. Just has to draw inside this bowl here and it'll count. That's three. That's three shots, definitely. To Shannon McElroy. Big pressure now on the Hong Kong China player, the 47-year-old. Tony Chong, runner-up last year, of course, in the World Champion of Champion Singles to Shannon McElroy. On the mat, definitely three down, trailing 18 to 11. It looks narrow here. It's right under the line. Big pressure now. And we disappointed with that one, Tony Chong. Needed it in the area, and he's gone narrow. The weight was good. Look, it's almost in line with the jack, but... Did not have the right green. The problem that he's got really, uh, Brendan, is he's really got nothing to play to. As we watch this bowler, Shannon McElroy, just coming behind the jack again. Now he's coming down to have a look. And the problem, of course, that, that Tony Chung has got is that front bowl of his there, um, which is out in front of the head, restricts how he can get down um, to the counting area. And it's, it's uh, yeah... He needs something close here, otherwise it's over. McElroy holding four. That will do it in this race to 21. Chung has to get something closer than at least two of those Shannon McElroy bowls. So back to the mat goes the Hong Kong China singles player, Hong Kong bowler of the year. And he'll be, as he changes his hand, he has. He's trying to switch. Trying to swing down there. I can tell you in a minute, it's certainly on the wider line where it needed to be. But is it too wide on the line? It's too wide on the line. It is going to go through, and that is it. Shannon McElroy has made his way through to the men's singles final here at the Asia Pacific Championships at Broad Beach Bowls Club on the Gold Coast of Australia. He has beaten Tony Chung of Hong Kong. 22-11 it will finish, four on the final end, and Tony Chung unable to come up with an answer against the world champion once more. Too strong, Shannon McElroy. He will now face Ryan Bester of Canada for the men's singles gold. That one from 3 p.m. New Zealand time tomorrow, and I'm happy to say we will have that right here on stuff.co.nz for you. Uh, live streaming of that match between two of the very best in the business. That is for sure in men's singles. I'll be popping out shortly to have a chat with Shannon McElroy. Here's Kevin Hicklin to talk us through that game and give us an update from the men's four semi-final New Zealand up against Canada and the women's peers, Australia, are up against New Zealand. Thank you, Brendan. And we saw uh, Shannon McElroy start the game strongly and jumped out to a handy lead. 
about uh, Tony Shaw, showed his class and sort of came back. Didn't get in front of McElroy, but certainly clawed his way back into the game. And for about four or five ends, Shannon McElroy was just sh- sort of struggling to find his weight and line. And Tony Shung started to score. Uh, then McElroy got the mat again, got the length that he wanted, and came on and finished the game very, very strongly uh, with a 21-11 win in that semi-final match over Tony Chung of Hong Kong. And of course, uh, the, you know we've got the the dream the dream final tomorrow, uh, where we will have uh, Ryan Bester, the Canadian player up against Shannon McElroy. They've had a number of duels together and uh, I'm just about to give you to Brendan Van Nisselroy who will have a chat with Shannon McElroy uh, with us now and I can tell you the New Zealand four side, the Ali four side, skip side, they're leading 12-3 over Canada as I watch Ali four side driving at the head. Don't know what's happened here yet. 12-3 to New Zealand after 10 of the 15 ends and now 12-5 New Zealand just dropping to 2 to Canada. And we'll cross now to Brendan Van Nisseroy, who's got Shannon McElroy, who will play tomorrow in the gold medal singles final. Shannon McElroy through to the men's singles final with a win over Tony Chung of Hong Kong. Yeah, you know Tony very well, of course, played him a couple of days ago. But tricky conditions out there today. Yeah, to be fair, um, yeah, that was pretty up there in regards to um, trying to nail your line consistently. I mean... Um, we've had some pretty tough conditions throughout the last week, but um, you know it's not as wet today. But that, that wind's sort of, if not tougher than playing in the rain, um, and, and the green itself was, was pretty slow. So you know a mixture of both is, uh, creates a little bit of havoc with, with you know. So you sort of got to be on your game and just try and uh, minimise damage if you are in trouble and and make the most of your opportunities when you get that opportunity. So he started well in control early, and then Tony seemed to fight his way into the game. Were you struggling as well to, to find your, your weight a bit? Um, well, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, not, it's not something that's, um, you know, you, you, try and, you try and figure out where Jack Level is so you can play your shots accordingly. Um, you know, that was pretty tricky. Um, fine line between uh, good and bad, you know. It's almost to that point where you get that feeling where the good ones, I'm not quite sure what they feel like, and the bad ones are similar. So there's a, you know, there's a bit of a judgment thing that you've got to try and make and, and make a correction. So... You know, it was tough to do, but there was there was a game plan um, right through my whole campaign, really, for this one. It was the start-off game as well. It seems to be a little bit of an Achilles heel for me sometimes. So, um, yeah, it was good to get off a good start. And, and I knew that he'll, he'll um, yeah, come back at me because, uh, you know, otherwise he probably wouldn't be there unless he can play. So, uh, credit to him. You know, he hung in there, and then I was able to kick on again. So, um, you know, it was good. Happy. And now you get your rematch with Ryan Besser, the Canadian who plays here at Broad Beach. It wasn't too long ago you were playing in a final at this very club. Yeah, that's right. It's uh, only about three weeks ago. So I uh, played him a few times and uh, he's had the wood over me the last couple. So, um, you know, have to uh, own one for this. But, uh, yeah, no, great player. It's going to be hard to, to beat Ryan. He's uh, local here and, you know, one of the best things players in the world. So I'm going to have to be on my game. And hoping that this weather, I suppose, continues and we see the, the green continue to, to speed up a bit. Um, I think finals on the other green, so um, uh, in general that one's played quite a bit better than this, uh, the one we just come off, so um, you know the pace will be slightly different, the lines will be different, so uh, probably a bit more conducive to conversions and, and, and playing shot play, so you know it's, it's, it's going to be a bit of a cracker, um, you know, so um, yeah, no looking forward to the challenge and um, you know, the best man win. Congratulations today, and we look forward to tomorrow afternoon. Cheers, mate. Appreciate it. At Shannon McElroy, world champion in the men's singles, through to the final here at the Asia Pacific Championships on the Gold Coast. We'll have that for you tomorrow from 3 p.m. New Zealand time here on stuff.co.nz. Stay tuned to Stuff and also the Bowls New Zealand Facebook page as well as we give you updates from all the other action here from these Asia Pacific Championships. Still two New Zealand teams in action here at Broad Beach Bowls Club. Thank you for this one.